Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start with the date. November 14th, 2023. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will notice patterns in poems with words that repeat. Then, we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Last, we will write a story with pictures and words. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, class family, let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Start in the top right-hand corner with today's date. I noticed the abbreviation for this month. There's a cap letter N, O, V, period. What does that abbreviation stand for? We'll say it out loud. I heard some of you say it. If you said November, great job. Notice the capital letter to start. Good writers and mathematicians begin each month of the year with a capital letter. They also capitalized the first letter in each day of the week. All right. Let's go ahead and continue to reread. November 14th, 2023. Dear class family, after our greeting, look at the first telling sentence. I noticed a bigger space to indent and jumpstart this paragraph. Also, I see a capital letter T. Good writers start every sentence with a capital letter. As we are rereading, Notice the capital letters within our message and in person we'll be circling all of those uppercase letters. Okay, today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday and it's a terrific Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day to work on being a portrait of a graduate. And we're working on being a great communicator and collaborator. Remember to speak clearly with your mouth and listen with your ears. That's what good communicators do. Okay, let's see the order of what we're doing in language arts first, next, then, and last. First, we'll learn letters and sounds. Just like we do every day in kindergarten, we use lots of resources, including our word wall as a resource. We'll also use our sound wall as a resource because we're doing dun 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 You fly. Today, we're focusing on reviewing all the letters and sounds, but we're going to work on sky writing and writing the letter C, like k cat. It makes the same k sound as K -k kite. So we're going to be working on the letter C. Remember when you're making the letter C, start at the top, go over, around, and leave open. And we're doing a lowercase letter C. You're going to have the same formation, but start right before the dotted line and then go over, around, and leave open. So we'll be working on that today. Oh, did you find some letter C's within the message? I remember circling letter C's yesterday within the message and capital letters. We're going to do the same thing today. So as we're noticing uppercase letters, and we're going to be circling them in class and the letter C. So as we're rereading, notice where those things are. Next, we will notice patterns and poems with words that repeat. Okay, so we will be noticing patterns in poems with words that repeat. Now, remember, patterns repeat just like in math. Patterns for reading repeat too. So we're going to be looking at a poem with words that repeat. And just like patterns like this, 
writers can write with repetition and poems can have different parts that repeat. We'll be looking at a lot of different things this school year, especially with nursery rhymes, books, poems, and other things to see that repetition because we use repetition in reading, writing, and also in math. We're gonna be looking back at this poem. Patterns, patterns all around. You can spot them on the ground. You can spot them way up high. You can spot them in the sky. Look around and you might see patterns everywhere for you and me. We're also going to be looking back at this book, I Want That Nut. All right, in addition to that, then we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. We will, dun -dun -dun, Lexia Core 5 reading program. We'll do literacy centers. You'll be building CBC words. You're going to be coloring part of your November book and reading those pattern sentences in the book. And don't worry, we'll read it together before you look at it by yourself. And we're also going to be doing lowercase letter matchup. Oh, and reading books, it's gonna be great. Last, we'll write a story with pictures and words. Love, Miss Joyner. During writing workshop, we're gonna be using resources and we're going to be writing with pictures and words. And remember, pictures and words tell who, where, and what happened in your story. It's gonna be an awesome day of learning in kindergarten. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question for today of yes or no answers is do you like apple pie? Well, do you? Think about your answer. Get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. We'll do a tally mark under yes or no and hear your reason. Do you like apple pie? 